All right, I just wanted to make this short video because I watched an anime recently called Darwin's Game and it was an okay anime. The plot was serviceable and I felt that the characters were a little bit on the shallow side. More caricatures, they didn't really feel like people, they were just there to service, you know, either fan service or action scenes and that's fine. A lot of anime does that nowadays. And in fact, if you put in too much character development, people may complain. I see that everywhere where I see comments where they're like, this is really slow. I want to see the action. You know, a lot of people did not enjoy Villain Saga Season 2, where it's all about Thorfinn's character development. And they're just like, we just want to see Thorfinn kill people. And I'm like, you know, that's kind of ironic because Season 2, the whole character arc is like, I don't want to kill anybody. <laughs> and the people are like, we want you to kill people. Anyways, going back into the anime, I thought it was okay. I had two scenes that I had major problems with. And also, as a side note, I will be getting into spoilers. So if you don't want spoilers, you can click out of this video. The first scene I had a problem with, and I hate it, when any media does this, is when a character goes, I need to tell you important information, but I'm going to tell you later. I was like, well, you goofball, tell them now. If this is a matter of life and death, you gotta pull your friend aside. I gotta talk to you right now. And then give him the breakdown of how the game works. You know what? Then you wouldn't have died. <laughs> you idiot. Why would you tell him later when you know he can get attacked at any moment? That was kind of weird. I hate it when they do this because it seems forced. I understand it's a plot device to create a moment of tension for the viewer. But it just doesn't seem realistic or practical. Now you can say in terms of the context of the anime, there is a plot excuse in that if you talk about the game, you get punished. But it's not that hard to pull your friend aside and be like, I gotta talk to you in private right now. That was the first one, and after that, it's whatever. I mean, you can nitpick a lot of the tiny stuff. It just bothers me when I see that specific narrative device plot mechanic used everywhere. I'm just like, stop doing it. There's other ways to create tension. It's like using a jump scare in a horror film. That's not really scary. You're just getting a cheap reflex. Jump scares are cheap. Anyone can do it. So using that plot device, anyone can do it. It, it doesn't really add anything of value. Now going in to the second scene, this is the scene that bothered me the most. I thought this was the dumbest thing ever. So this is a scene towards the end of season one where his friend is captured and being tortured. And he has this brain dead plot of dropping a phone in front of him and then having him activate the game so he can get powers. I don't really know what the point of this plan was. The anime makes him out to be some sort of smart dude, but honestly, he's stupid, and this is why I hate it. Uh, I mean, why couldn't the girl just pick up the dude with her chain? It looks like it's long enough to reach the guy, and even if it wasn't, she has two of them, so she can hook herself to a, you know, one of the rafters and then extend that chain and then use the other chain to grab the dude. He's right in range. It's not like she didn't do that for someone else in another episode look at this what is this she grabbed her just fine so we know that she can grab people it was just really stupid and of course he dies plot twist he dies and i was like what were you expecting you gave him superpowers you didn't really explain how to use the superpowers he's expected to fight against a dude who's super powerful and used to killing people like i don't understand what your plan was i mean like you should have told him to sneak away or something I, like i don't know man what are you thinking and the scene happens where the guy is like literally, hey, look in the box, bro. And then he's like, what's in the box? What's in the box? And of course, it's his friend cut up into pieces. And then he's like, oh, no, it's just all my fault. I, I let my friend die. How could I possibly let this happen? I'm a terrible human being. And usually when anime series have this where the main character goes through this kind of depressive character arc it takes like an episode or two and there's always like flashbacks to his to his childhood and his parents are there and his friends are there and it's just like oh my god just get get it over with okay <laughs> thankfully the one redeeming feature of this anime is that the scene where he resolves this character issue is like a minute or less so he's like crying he's like oh no i'm a terrible person and then it just turns silent and then he turns around and just shoots people in the head it's crazy. This is all it took for him to go from I'm going to value every life to I'm going to kill literally everyone. And here's the thing too. It's like This is the thing that I thought was dumb too. So uh, this is how the anime concludes. So he's okay with killing people now. 
And he's like, I hate the game. I'm going to kill the person who made the game. And then this is his grand plan. So anyone playing the game, they're killing each other, right? So his plan is, oh yeah, if you're playing the game in our territory, we're going to stop you from killing each other by killing you first. That's right. <laughs> his plan is, hey, if you're playing the game in our territory, we're going to kill you. And I'm like, what, what does this solve exactly? Because, I mean, they were going to kill each other in the first place, and now you're the ones killing them. I mean, it doesn't really change anything. Uh, I don't really know what the point of that was. Uh, great, great plan. Great plan. I'm sticking on my thumbs. Just wanted to complain about this because I thought it was really dumb. And it's okay. It was, it was a serviceable anime. It was okay for the most part. But those two points. Uh, the first one was forgivable in that it just... I see it happen all the time in a lot of series. And I'm just like, Ugh, it's, uh, I'm just tired of it. I don't want to see it anymore. But the second part where, why couldn't they just grab the dude and rescue him with the chain? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Also, why would you give him powers and then expect him to fight against a dude who is super strong? Like, I don't, like, what, what, like, I, anyways, I don't know. I, I'll still watch season two when, whenever it comes out, if it comes out. All right, that's going to be it. Catch you guys next time.